Hey, welcome back to another one of our Tech Tip Special number 50. So this one is another one of my favorites and I use this all the time. And this is another reverb related one. And what we're gonna do in this one is instead of just slapping on a reverb on our uh, lead riff, we're going to use some compression to um, make it sound more interesting. We're going to use this lead sound to let you hear it quickly. Basic sort of lead sound. We're going to add a ton of reverb to this. Sometimes when you add a reverb like that, it can just sort of wash over everything and you can kind of lose the original intention of the riff and it sort of brings the riff too far back in the mix. So what we can do to solve this, and this is dead easy, we put a compressor on, open up the sidechain panel, click sidechain on, and then we're going to select our lead and use the lead sound as the sidechain. And what this enables us to do is sort of duck away the reverb when the actual uh, lead sound is hitting. And that sort of makes that more pronounced and then you get this nice sort of um, swoosh back effect on the, on the reverb. So let's have a listen to that. And we can bring our threshold down to make it more pronounced. And then we can also bring our ratio up if you really want to go crazy with it. It just creates a bit more excitement. You can really hear that riff sort of, it's not being washed in reverb and then they got that nice sort of reverb effect coming in afterwards. So let's listen to it with and without. There you go, a cool reverb technique for your lead sounds. Thanks for watching, catch us next time. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.